Hi everyone. I was going to few, spend a few minutes talking about emotions, life, and especially managing the more intense emotions. I have a difficult announcement to make concerning Rocky. Rocky's very sick right now. You'll see in the picture that I put on the screen that he's got a lump. Sorry. You can see that he's got a lump on his one ear. The challenge of this is that with a hamster, they weigh so little that that the line between sedating a hamster for treatment and and killing it unintentionally is so narrow that it's not it, it just doesn't make sense to me so I'm trying to keep Rocky fed and comfortable while he's not in pain right now he's resting about 16 hours a day I did wake up when he was chewing this morning around 5.30 a.m. Um, so he is, he's got his weight back up about one week ago. Sorry. About a week ago, uh, Rocky had lost about 20% of his body weight. It really wasn't looking good. But as I say, he's got some more food in him and he's eating again and I've been spending the time with him to make him feel comfortable and loved. What I was gonna talk about in this video was the value of self-care and and taking care of yourself especially if you're in a caregiver position. You know the kicker is that I just I, I would do this all over again and still have him here you know, and it was the same when my aunt was dying with ovarian cancer. I was completely happy to have support and spend time with her. And not just have life focused about the particular illness, but making the best out of whatever life we have. So I wanted to suggest to you, if you're having a hard time right now, to consider keeping a journal or a blog. You don't necessarily need to keep a blog. It can be personal to stay in the form of a journal. What it'll do for you is give you a place to put the intense emotions in. A journal is certainly happy and willing to listen to you and not judge you. And it would give you a chance to think and assess or reassess the decisions that you're making while you're writing doesn't necessarily going to solve everything, but it may help you feel not alone, especially if there's not someone else that you feel comfortable talking to. Or on the other hand, it might get your thoughts organized where you're ready then to talk to someone and, and have a meaningful discussion or a focused discussion instead of having your mind sort of spiraling. The other thing that I would mention just briefly is the value of exercise, even if it is just simply walking for 20 minutes or so, that will also do a great deal to help you uh, through what to the times that are stressful or demanding on your body or your mind. Okay, that's really all that I have to share today. Okay. I will still share some videos of Rocky uh, when he's out, but um, his his behaviors have drastically cut back, and he's had to slow down. Um, but it, but he's relatively comfortable, and you know, I've been doing what I can to help support him at this time. Hope you're doing well. Bye for now.